Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and last month the president of the Brantford Inventors Club was busted driving along Highway 404 with a couple with half a dozen joints of marijuana. So he used my kits to fight back and they offered him a deal he couldn't refuse. Uh, our last speaker for the night is Mr. John Termel, but I have to share something with you uh, that John helped me immensely with. Uh, I didn't tell anybody before, but before uh, I got pulled over at a ride spot and I got busted for cannabis possession. Uh, hey, listen, this is good. All right, and basically uh, I've had it three times before where they talked to me and I basically told them John's t uh, tale that the laws of marijuana were declared unconstitutional by Ter because of the Terry Parker decision and every cop before well the first time it happened i'm doing 135 going through a radar trap and they smelt it in the car so oh and i told them no 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 the laws are unconstitutional well the cop made me break the joints up on the side of the road but no charge well later on i had another altercation with another thing and some they walked out with 25 plants no charge and uh, then another time in this summertime, I went through the uh, a safety check thing. I was just going to my bookkeepers, and then they smelt it in the car again. And oh, had to break it up on the side of the road, no charge. Well, I was up uh, north of Toronto here, going on to the Don Valley, and there's a rise uh, spot. And they pulled me on over. Well, they charged me. And I got this little ticket, and I had to go up to court. <coughs> And I talked to John and I filled up all his motion to quash on this argument. So when I walked into court, you know, basically I knew I had to talk to the duty council. So duty council, oh, he came on outside to talk with me. And I opened up my briefcase and I showed him that I had three motions. Motion to quash, motion under constitutional, and motion to get my pot back. <laughs> and I said, well, if you guys give me a hard time, I'm just going to file these motions. So I walked into court and they basically said, oh, in your case, uh, it'll be a complete discharge if I do 20 hours of community service. Now I should have said to the judge at that point, hey, my entire life has been community service. Why do I got to do 20 hours? But I just didn't want to argue or anything. So I have to get that done by March 7th when I go back. And I'm going to get talked to by the judge. But when I get talked to by the judge, I'm going to give him the Run From the Cure movie. And so I'm going to accumulate, because the Run From the Cure movie is only a short thing on a DVD. There's a bunch of other research that's done to show all the health benefits of it, and all the wonderful things that it can be done. And I'm going to put this all together in this movie, and I'm going to give the judge a copy of the movie. So all I want to know is, is there anybody going to go up to Newmarket to bail me out? Because <laughs> if I get contempt of court, I don't know how to file the motion on that. But you do your hours and it's over. All right, no problem. I'll fix it. Right, and you, I, know if you, I always you know, tell everybody, uh, my, my joke about marijuana is they say smoking marijuana makes you stupid. That's why they call it dope. Well, all my research shows smoking marijuana makes you more aware. So I'm sorry to say it, when you smoke marijuana, you see yourself as stupid. Well, you were stupid before, you're just now aware of it. <laughs> now, nobody wants to be aware of how stupid they are. But all doing all this research, I've met the smartest people on the planet, and I've had the privilege of getting to know them and see them do some of the stupidest things possible. We all have moments of genius, and we all have moments of stupidity. So, yes, sir. If they give you, if, if they give you your, your pot back, I'll come get you. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, I didn't want it back, because they could mess with it. I like good yeah. stuff. I'm very fussy. <laughs> At any rate, uh, Mr. John tremell has got uh, amazing information he wants to share with us. You know, we, a lot of people don't appreciate John. I think he's one of the best speakers in the club. He's always got amazing, high-quality information. He's very dynamic and personable. And I appreciate John and all his battle and everything that he's going through. Oh, yeah, there you go. My script for tonight. Where's your funny hat, John? Oh, yeah, it's funny hat. Well, the point is, 
Derek Francisco got his pot back. Yeah. You just go get an exemption, prove you were sick at the time, and they gave him back his marijuana. So don't laugh. It's available if you're good enough to get an exemption.